Hi. In the previous video, we found out the IP address of the attacker trying to ARP poison our network. What can you do with that? Of course, the easiest way is to exclude it from the network and ban, and maybe try to find him if he's uh, somewhere in the vicinity. But there is much more we can do. What? We can spy the spy. And for that purpose, we will use Wireshark. We've already used it for detecting our spoofing before. But Wireshark is widely multi-purpose program that can be used actually for everything in the network. Wireshark is used by system administrators, security specialists, digital forensic specialists, network forensic specialists, and many other people involved. So, to say simply, what does Wireshark do? Wireshark sees every move in a network, and today we'll use it for collecting information about the spy that penetrated our network. For that purpose, we'll locate the spy host first, then I'll show you how to monitor its activity, and then we'll know how to detect a suspicious connection and drop it. Let's go and do that. Uh, for today's demonstration, I will use uh, two virtual machines. One is Scala Linux in the attacking machine, and another one is the Windows 10 machine in the victim machine. I'll demonstrate one more kind of malicious activity and how to detect it with Wireshark. So, first of all, let's run Wireshark. Here it is ready to capture data. Let's run it. And then let's go to our terminal. And in the terminal, we run a map and run scanning our victim machine. It's 192.168.66.129. Let's hit enter. And here we will finish our scanning. Now let's go and see what we can find in Wireshark. Let's stop capturing and have a look at the traffic. This traffic you see on the screen let me make it a bit bigger for you. Here is our scanning process. As you can see, the host with IP address 192.168.66.128 scanned the host with IP 192.168.66.129. And if you find in your Wireshark traffic like this, it's obviously the scanning of ports of your machine. And if it's not the work of a system administrator, then definitely a work of a bad guy that tries to make something malicious to your network or your machine, because he's obviously trying to look vulnerabilities in uh, your machine. And actually, this is preface of the attack. By the way, here we can see the only open port on our victim machine, it's port 22, because it's seen ACK response, and that means it's opened, and this red line means our scanner received this response. So, if we've got such kind of traffic, we can be sure that this IP address is the IP address of an attacker. What we can do with it? First of all, we can ferret out all his connections. We can do that by typing here a command IP src double equal and then the IP address of the attacker. Click enter and here we can see all the traffic that is going from the attacker machine. Now let's try to intercept the traffic again. I Type continue without saving. Let's generate some traffic. For example, let's go to yahoo.com, yahoo mail. For example, let's go to yahoo weather. I'm gonna click Los Angeles. Actually, make some other clicks. Yeah, I think it's enough. Let's come back to our 
Wireshark and we can see here a lot of traffic. So monitoring and analyzing this traffic, we can ferret out all the connection from the attacker machine. Of course, there are a lot of traffic here, let's stop it. But Wireshark give us the possibility to make the search easier. For that purpose, it has some filters. For example, if we just need to have a look at HTTP traffic, we type here HTTP filter, click enter, and voila, we've got all the HTTP connection from this machine. Every HTTP connection, we can check the packet that was sent. Let's click on it twice. And here is what's inside the packet. We can find source port, destination port, and many other useful information. If we need to see all TCP connections, we can type TCP here. And here you can see all TCP connections. And what was them about? Or you can type UDP here, ARP, DNS. So, of course, the process of gathering this information requires time and patience. But you really can get a lot of information about the attacker, uh, his machine. You can really find a brilliant pieces of information about the attacker. Of course, Wireshark has a lot of possibilities, and I highly recommend you to learn more of them. Because it's real Swiss army knife to analyze all processes in the network. Okay, now what if uh, during analyzing the traffic in the Wireshark, you suddenly find out that uh, there is some suspicious traffic from your computer? Then you don't know what is exactly. You can think it's suspicious for many reasons, but anyway, you want to know what to do with it. What is this connection and what application is providing it? For that purpose, let's go to our terminal. Let it be, for example, port 443, HTTPS port, click on it. And here you can find all the process that have the connection via this port. For example, we can see here Firefox. Actually, we've got only Firefox here, but let's pretend some of this process is malicious and you want to drop it. As you can see here, we've got only Firefox process here. And uh, I think all of them are not malicious, but if uh, a one of them would be, we can easily stop it by using the command QPID. For that purpose, we just need to type Q and then the process ID. PID means the process ID. So this one, 2399, click enter. And let's check if it's killed. Type again our previous command. And as you can see now, there are no connections via port 443. So in this way, you can choose any suspicious connection that you may find in Wireshark. And uh, to understand, is it really suspicious, malicious, or absolutely good? Great. Now we are know how to spy the spy with help of Wireshark. And in the next video, you'll find out how to unmask and neutralize enemies' agents, malware. See you in the next video.